praise the name of the Lord. God bless you tonight, wherever you are making the connection from. I know you need to know where you're located. No matter where you are physically, the Holy Spirit makes us one everywhere we go. So let the bishop know tonight where you're making the connection from. You are included with this whole conversation about how to move your life forward. That's yes. what it's all about. Living the life that God created and designed you to live. How many of y'all know your whole life is about growth? Now that's something to put in the chat right there already. <laughs> yes. Tell everybody my whole life is about yeah. growth. Yes. So we're glad that you're here tonight. I'm excited because Pastor Patty is back with me tonight, Patty. <laughs> And we <laughs> and we have one of our daughters in the Lord, um, yes. Sister Tari, is with us tonight. Yes, hello everybody. Thank y'all for having me. Oh, it's 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 our Thank pleasure. You. We're excited. Hey, there are people that are making the connection um, tonight. Oh wow! Uh, really from around the country, and wow. uh, we're glad that they're actually here. Yes. And uh, hey, as a matter of fact, we're going to shout some of you all out in just a moment. But listen, let me share a couple of announcements uh, with you that if you haven't already placed them on your mm -hmm. calendar, I want to encourage you to do so. Hey, we got a special family baby dedication is coming up on Sunday, April the twenty first. You know, oh, it is it is so powerful when uh, parents acknowledge the fact that children are a gift from God. Yes, and yes. then when they take a moment to say, you know what, I want to take the gift that God has given me yes. and give it back to God. You are, you are all the mommies. How important is it that you dedicate those beautiful babies back to the Lord? Oh, What's your yes. thoughts on that? It's <laughs> very important. All of mine have been yes. <laughs> right back. Oh, yeah, Tori said, Tori, I like what she said. They've all been sitting right back. Oh, wow. Wow. That, Lord knows we need help raising them. So oh, that's, that's wow. That's the key thing. We need God's help in raising them. And, you know, church, you know, church is a good place to, you know, find and identify a support yes, system. Absolutely. Because church, hey, y'all, you know, church is more than a place that you just attend. Church is where you do life, where you create absolutely. memories, where you do ministry with. Absolutely. It's where you find family and even a sense of belonging. So, again, thank you for being with us on tonight. Yes. Also, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, May the 12th, Mother's wow. Day. And, Pastor Patty, you know, we got a special service yes. plan for oh, the mothers yes. it's going to be powerful yes. Yes. it's going to be anointed yes. and they're getting a lot of special like tlc that day not like y'all don't get it anyway but it's going to be a lot of tender <laughs> love and care on yes day. it is because we deserve it <laughs> we do a lot of work wear a lot of hats hands and a lot of things so just want mm. all the muzzles to feel special on that day. So yeah, yeah. Awesome. And then finally, uh, Baptism Sunday, May the 19th. That's always yeah. a, a, yeah. Special a special time to, time. to watch Absolutely. people. You know, baptism, yes. you know, Tari, it's, it's really, it's like, uh, it's something that personally uh, happens when the individual makes a decision. And then when they take that personal decision that they made and they say, hey, I'm ready to go public with it. You know, yes. I'm not boasting, yes. not bragging, but yes. I want people to know that, uh, my life with God is not something that I want to just keep to myself. Yeah. And I hope that my life with God will inspire other people. So yes, baptism is, is huge. So all they got to do is go to the website and you'll find out all this great yes. information uh, actually on there. Hey, let's shout out some folk who are with us tonight. Say hello to some, to some people who are with us on tonight. Yes, we have Robert. Barney, all the way from Hawaii. Hi, Barney. Good to see you. Not see you, but you know. Well, <laughs> Good to see us. Y'all really yeah. see him in a way, though. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hey, Minister Doreen is on here tonight. Okay. Hey, yes. Sister Googe is on here. Who is the who's gonna get the I shared first award tonight? You know what I'm saying? Normally <laughs> Sister Libby be getting on there getting that award now, but I'm I'm what looking to fun. see who shared. <laughs> if you share it, just put it in there and say I have shared, all right? Oh, yeah. Shout out to Sister Sharon Wren from Greensboro. Oh. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yes. Tomorrow, yes. Sister Fennell, Angela, glad you're with us on tonight. Uh -huh. Tanette, thank you for being with us on tonight. Yes. We're excited yes. about y'all being yes. a part of the program. Yes. James, what's happening, man? <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Glad you're on here on tonight. Who else we got, Pastor Patty? We got Nakara all the way from Florida watching in Kiki, White Hill, North Carolina, and Chin. Montego Bay, Jamaica. Oh, Montego yeah. Bay, Mon. Montego. Uh -huh. Coming to Jamaica. <laughs> I, hey, I, I, I see yes. Shakita just signed oh, on. Okay. Kiara, hey, just Shakita. hello to all of you all. Oh, 
Uh, let's see here. Alicia just signed on. Thank you That's much. Amazing. Tony. Hey, Tony. What's up, Dr. Green? Katina just signed on. Wow. Hey, Stephanie. Dallas, Texas. What's oh, up? Wow. Glad you're on here wow. tonight. Uh, Stephanie, we see Sophie's on here tonight. Ziegler is on here. LeVette, Lord Bradshaw. Y'all, Gina's on here. <laughs> Everywhere. Everybody here. Thank y'all for being here. Hey, Father, bless our time together tonight. Yes. Uh, we will be blessed. We will be encouraged. Yes. Our lives will be the better as a result of sitting mm -hmm. under the word of God together. We receive it by faith, and it is so. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, so ladies, yes. tonight, uh, yes. we, you know, this is Financial Literacy Month, and we amen. wanted to continue to have uh, this whole conversation uh, centered around financial literacy, you know, yes. really in general. And uh, thinking uh, really about it and the importance and, and the significance of it. Yes. Now, when we did the opening session last week, Pastor Patty, there, I was surprised at the number of people that came to me and said, hey, I'm glad y'all are talking about mm -hmm. that. Not only I'm glad I'm talking about Tori, we had people saying, I love to talk about money. Yes. And normally money's a touchy subject. It usually is. <laughs> yes. Especially like at church. Yes. Huh? Uh -huh. Well, Patty, why do you like to talk about money so much? I, I, I like managing it. I, you know, I don't know. I, I like um, having it. <laughs> I do like having it. Yes. I like having it, but totally I like managing facts. it. Yeah. I like, you know, uh, budgeting it. I like yeah. doing mm -hmm. all those things. It's like it, it does something to me to be able to balance something. And, you know, if I don't have enough coming in here, I got to figure out what I've got to do. And mm -hmm. it just, I don't know. It, it excites me. I don't know. I don't know oh. what you call that. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got that kind of appetite for it. I like I like for you to be hungry because I'm yes. sure I shall sure learn how to eat from you when oh, it comes yes. to that. But, yes. you know, uh, Tari, when you, you know, you think about it, you know, you are uh, what well, just tell tell the audience tonight. Just tell me a little bit about yourself, what you do with your career, because, I mean, you. When I hear you talk, listen, I, I watch some of your podcasts and I, I said, this has got some killer information and people need to be able to hear, you know, what you're talking about. Tell us a little bit about what you do in your career and a little bit about your podcast, too. Then we'll yes. talk a little bit about your hustle, too. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so again, just thank you so much for having me here for this opportunity. I'm sure. so grateful. Um, but my name is Tari Butler. I am a mom of three, a wife. Um, I love talking about God. I love talking about finances, um, generational blessings and yeah. curses and things of that nature just to move the family forward. Um, I'm an educator, so I do speech therapy. Yes, yes. all about educators. <laughs> I've been in education about 12 years, um, so I teach speech therapy at a local elementary school, oh. as well as some of the daycares and preschool centers in our community. Mm. So I'm all for all things education as well yes. with the babies, because education yeah. really yes. is important. I know people yes, think is. like children, are, they just play and do things, yeah. but they can learn so much, yeah. like yeah. so, so much, yes. and it's important that they do learn at those early yeah. stages. Um, I have a side hustle, Kaya's Cookies. Um, I've known, had some of those cookies. Yes. Oh, my God. So some of you may know me as the cookie lady <laughs> <laughs> in town. I get that all the time. Are you does that the cookie lady? Does, that, does that work for you? It, it does. It does. I'm like, yes, that's me. You okay. know, I don't mind it. Um, So I'm known as the cookie lady throughout town. And I'm just so grateful for my town and the community and the support. Yeah. Yeah. that they show me with the business um you know i'll post here and there on social yeah. media but the main thing is word of mouth yes. like people will come up to me like i've heard so many good things about your cookies um i have people who just you know will donate money for me to bake cookies just yeah. to share for kindness wow. and that's, that's really the whole nice. base of kaya's cookies gotcha. is to share kindness with others yes. so but that you, memo seems to be hitting off with people, <laughs> and I'm good. grateful. I mean, I love them. I enjoy them. But, you know, the diverse podcasts that you have, to, you know, the the strength of your content is huge. And, uh, I mean, it's very informative. It's very uh, eye-opening. And uh, I'm I'm always, you know, more knowledgeable when I leave your podcast. So wow. you, but you share some very, very good information. And speaking of teaching information and all of that, where did you learn about money? I mean, did you learn about money in school? Did your parents or did you go study about it? Where did you even learn about finances? Yes, yeah, so that you're doing? Um, I definitely, I feel like everybody is a teacher. So there's certain yeah. things I learned about finances and my family in regards to what not to do. Yeah. 
But as far as like the financial literacy part, it really started a few years ago when we had our literacy uh, programs here at church. Oh, before you know, check your yes, literacy network stuff. Yes, yeah, that's yes. coming back. Yes, that would be so good. Like before service, um, I know it was the eight o'clock service. Yeah. You would do a little mini lesson. And shout out to Shakita. She um, oh, yeah, would teach. That. And it was just so powerful. I felt like the way she taught was like in my language yes. that I could understand. Yeah. Um, and the way she broke it down, it just seemed so appealing to me, like yes. intangible. I know. Tangible. Yes. The thing, tangible. tangible yes. Because yeah. I was not strong in math in school. So I felt like anything with finances and numbers, like right. that's not my strong point. So right. I'm not going to touch that. But really just coming yeah. to those um, lessons and learning yes. so much, it was like, I can do this. Do you, yeah, do you think true. a lot of people shy away from money simply because it involves math? They think it's it's hard or something or another? Yes, yes. I definitely think so. But, yes. it's, but it's not like money is really like calculus or something like that. No. Though, is it? it's, it's, <laughs> it's literally basic <laughs> math. You're adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying. That's the basic. Um, and we learned that in what? Kindergarten, first grade, third grade. Yes. Then after that, you lose me. Yes. But um, we can do basic math. Yes. Everybody can. But you know, That's it's true. it's like I think it's so important oh. that we um give our op- give ourselves an opportunity to be yes. taught. Yes. Yeah. To exactly. actually, you know, be poured into when it comes yes. uh, to money. And I remember, yes. you know, in my early days when it came to money, you know. Uh, Money almost felt like learning about money almost felt like a doctor's appointment or something. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it, you know, yeah. especially if you're a little right. nervous about you know talking about it and you don't know which way to go. Yes. But the good thing about you know doctor's appointments and other appointments that we have, you know, those appointments we want to be able to keep because they help give us a clear picture. Yeah. Right. They help That's inform us about you know where we are. Right. And I think Pastor Patty that uh, even though money can be like a touchy subject sometime, an uncomfortable subject, simply because it's almost like you deal with the fear of the unknown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But That's how true. important is it that we look to bring more people into our circles or into the conversation to talk to us about money? How, how important is it? I know people obviously will be able to make better financial decisions yeah. if we are able to have people talk to us about it. Well, it's important to bring other people in that know about finances because it, it helps you. And like uh, Tari said about Shakita, if they make it where you can understand and you feel mm-hmm. like it's tangible to you, yeah. then you're not so afraid of it. So you can start talking about things like banking, credit, uh, budgeting, saving, savings and things like that. But then when people start talking about investing and capital yes. gains and, you know, and these type things, that's where you shy away because you don't know about those yeah. things. But just start with the basics. Yep. You know, banking account, bank account, savings account, money market account, you know, things like and that. And we got some folk that are going to come on the program, yes. y'all. They're going to be talking to us even about yeah, that. That's good. You know? yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's important to have people that will kind of, you know, uh, kind of usher you in that area. I know when we bought our first house, there was this lady that just kind of walked us through every single aspect of it. And that helped me to understand mm-hmm. about, you know, interest rates and things like that. But because before I just wanted to buy a house, right. you <laughs> right. know, but yeah. you got to know the paperwork, you got to know interest rate, you got to know how much you got to put down, you got to know how much you have. And so all those things are important. So if you got somebody that'll help you with that, it's important. Don't be afraid to bring people in there. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. going to help you. Wow. You know, Can I piggyback off what you shared? So I know for me, like the whole investing and thing, that is like out of my zone. It's far. But like you said, too, getting that basic foundation, you don't even need to be considering anything (laughs) up there if your basics are not (laughs) in order. You got to get that foundation because you're going to be investing money and messing up and losing stuff. If you don't have the basic budgeting and things in place. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, and and it's, it's not like it's a shortage of information out there. There's no, so many, no, you know, in this information <laughs> age, and it's almost like in many cases, now you can get bad information too, you know. Yes, if yes. you're not sure about something, no matter where you're listening to, who you're getting it from, yes. run it by somebody. But you That's can go to true. YouTube and learn a whole lot yeah. uh, about, you know, finances and monies and stuff like yeah. that. But having people in your life, yes. like That's people have good. coaches for almost everything. Yeah. And you know that you can have, you can yeah. get a coach to help you financially, to put out your financial plan when it comes to, you know, where you are, what you're doing and stuff like that. And speaking of that, 
Yeah. What about, you know, uh, Natara, you, you know, you, you got your business and stuff like that. Does it, mm-hmm. does it require you to have a budget or, cause you know, you, you sound like you got your primary responsibility where yeah. you're an educator yes. and then you told us about your hustle and then yes. you got your podcast. So, yes. uh, you know, how does a budget, you know, plan it? What, what is it when you think, when you hear the word budget, how do you use it? What does it do for you? Listen, your budget is your best friend. Okay. Yes. Budget bestie. Yes. Um, so for me as an educator, I get paid once a month. Mm -hmm. So that automatically forces me to budget my money because if I dip into my bill money before that next month comes, then I'm not going to have it. (laughs) So I was like forced into, all right, this is my bills. This is my tithe. This is my savings. And I struggled with the leftover part because I would have that left and be like, all right, I'm just going to spend and buy whatever. But I've started implementing a weekly budget with that now. So, all right, this is what's left. I get paid in four more weeks. So this is how much I have each week until Uh, I get paid again. And that has really been working well for me. Um, And I feel like that was something Holy Spirit led, like, I had a prayer yes. this year, like, God, yes. help me with budgeting. You see my salary. Mm. Y'all teachers, we do mm. <laughs> need yeah. more money. Like, if I didn't have my husband, I don't know. Wow. Like, I really think about single parents, yes. you know, yes. Yes. with one wow. in, one source of income yeah. having to take care of their family. So I'm grateful that I have a partnership. Yes. But um, I was like, you know, I don't want to just rely yeah. on him. Yes. Um, I want to, you know, manage my money well because I do look up after four days. <laughs> <laughs> all right babe you know i need this i need that and he will you know he'll step in because he does that but i was like you know i need to do better about that yes, so i had this absolutely. prayer like god i'm trusting you to do with my salary what you did with the two fish and five loaves of bread yes. you see what's here so i need you to give me that plan and that was that weekly budget wow. that um helped. And you know wow. even when you That's when so you're cool. not when you're not right. um sure about how to manage your money because a lot of people the problem is not that they don't have enough money Mm -hmm. it's like they have enough coming in but the way they actually manage it and uh, a budget to me you know Mm -hmm. patty started streamlining and you know first thing when she started doing the budget the first thing that that you know annoyed me was now i got a report i felt like (laughs) I felt I felt like I was in a reporting system, you know, and then you had you had to get oh over feeling gosh. like, you know, I mean, well, I got to tell where every hundred dollars oh. go and stuff like that. And you know, so every at first at, at, at first you have that little resistance, but mm-hmm. then when you start seeing the yes. difference that it makes, it? a budget really helps you to uh, manage like and so you're not overspending. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then you don't you're not actually taking uh, what's coming in and yes. designed to go for one particular yes. thing and just Absolutely. taking it and going in a in another yeah. direction. Yeah. So you know, ha- have having that budget, you know, mm-hmm. and it's it'll feel mm-hmm. different at first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna feel different. Kind of yeah. awkward. Yeah. And uh, get under your skin. Yep. But then <laughs> yes. when when you look it up and discover what the difference it that it actually makes, what were you gonna say though? I was gonna say it will because when you look at your finances on paper. Mm-hmm. It looks different than what you think you got. In your head, yes. Say that again. <laughs> Say that one That's more again. One more again. <laughs> yes. You know, when you look at your finances on paper, they're different than what you think is in your head. You think mm-hmm. in your head, I've got this, I can do this, I can do this. But when you start writing it down and you see, like Tori said, you know, at the end of the month, you know, sometimes you got to make it to the end of the month. And sometimes, you know, we have too much month left at the end of the month. Yeah, baby. <laughs> more so, more I mean, month than you got yeah, money. Yeah, yes. you got money. And mm-hmm. so you got to take a look at those, that money that's coming in and that money that's going out. And I think I said this last week, you know, you got to make sure you got enough coming in or more right. coming in than you have going out. And that's what a budget, all that's all it does is just make you look at what you have coming in. And what you got going out? Yeah, but what what do you say to a person like I work hard, and uh, you know, I, 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 okay, good point. I work hard, but it's like I, you know, I I need a break. I need I need mm. a treat. I need to be able to, <laughs> well, yeah, you know. But it looked like you know I'm not I'm not getting enjoy in my money. Mm. And you know, what do you say to that person, Tori, that that's got oh. that mindset when it comes down to it? And you start talking about a budget and not <laughs> yeah. overspending and. Well, you may need to reconsider what your treat yourself is because right. your treat, that's like instant gratification. 
So if you're treating yes. yourself and then looking up later on, yes. like now I don't have anything left or now I'm in all this debt, yes. is it really treating yourself yes. or are you harming Woo-hoo. yourself? That's yeah. True. That's true. Wow. And for the moment yeah. it feels like that. Cause it there's does. a big, there's a big difference in like making a, mm. you know, right financial decision versus a wise financial decision. Yeah. Right, let's say oh, for example, yeah. Yeah. let's say for example, a, a person is in need of a car. Okay. Or they need transportation mm-hmm. to get back and forth to uh-huh. their job the so, they can, <laughs> so they can earn an income and yes. take care of their responsibility. Yes, sir. So is it right to get a car if that's going to help me with what I need to be able to provide for my family? Right. Yes, it's right. It's right to get a car. But now, is it wise to go get one that's going to put you in a tighter yes. spot yes. or put more wow. pressure on you? So get a car, for example, that, you know, is within your budget, within your yes, means. But just because yes. you need a car, yes. don't let the need for a car make you go make a decision that's not so wise and put a whole lot more on yourself than you need right. to put yes. on yourself. Yeah, that's true. Yes. You know? And that's that's basically sitting down and looking to see what you have because sometimes it's temporary that you may have to drive something that's not quite new. It may be a year, mm-hmm. maybe two, but just know in the end, oh, I'm going to eventually get me a new car. But it's sacrifice. It's just, you know, sometimes it's just, I've got to make a sacrifice for 12 months. You can mm-hmm. count them down. Mm-hmm. 12 months. Let me do this for 12 months. Let me uh, save some money for 12 months. Let me just see something different. Let me do something different. Yes. That's like that, that plan and that budget, that, right? Yeah. You, yes. you know, yep. got that budget work within that plan. And, and Bishop, let me say this. And some banks, y'all out there, your bank will move the money over for you. Mm-hmm. And you don't even have That's to do good. it. You know, sometimes you don't, you may not have the discipline to move the money yourself. Your bank will do that. Mm-hmm. So there's, I mean, there's ways out there that'll help you. And you just got to ch- check it out. Check it out. Why don't we take some time tonight and talk mm-hmm. a little bit about, let's, if you're in a bad financial spot. Okay. Okay. Why we don't all we, been there. we've all yeah. been there and we could possibly even, you know, be, be there, there now. now. Right. And it's all about growth. It's all about right. getting better. There's yes. room to improve. Start mm-hmm. having the conversation the moment that you open yourself up to it. The fact that you all are tuned in tonight yes. and you're listening and engaged in the conversation, yes. I think that speaks volumes in itself. But let's say that we're in a bad financial spot and we want to actually get in a better place. Mm-hmm. Tori said something earlier about that instant gratification. Mm-hmm. You know, um, how how important is it that, for example, that we avoid what we call lifestyle inflation? For example, like you get a bonus, you get a raise, you start making more money, you start, you pick up a side hustle. Mm-hmm. How important is it that we don't allow the extra money that's coming in mm-hmm. to go directly out and create more expenses for us? How important? Because mm-hmm. that's sometimes that's a mistake that we make too, and that's a part of that, yeah. that management yes. system. So yes. don't you think that if we could avoid that lifestyle inflation, yes. that that could help get us out of a bad spot? Absolutely. Yes. I mean, you know, some stuff we buy we don't need. We just buy. Because, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. honestly, like, yeah, you know, that's sometimes so in your head you got to think, okay, you know, like if you know some extra money is coming in somewhere and you say, well, okay, you know, I know I have to have this thing, so I know I'm going to get this. But then we start getting this, that, mm-hmm. this, that, that. We don't. We may not have to have all of that, but you may have one thing over here that I've got to have this, or I've got to make sure this is going to be taken care of. My car might need to be done. I might have money for this car. Yeah. And you know, but you know, you got to manage that. You don't want to, you know, get the car and, and go buy this thing and go buy this thing, and the car can't get fixed, and you can't get to work. So it's just how you manage that. You don't want to um, have a lifestyle where you're just always buying, mm-hmm. purchasing. You so you, you you would say one of the ways to avoid that lifestyle inflation is stop buying stuff that you don't need. Yes. Yes. Wow. What you need. Lord and I can piggyback off that. Yes. Um, I like to think of a budget as like a place and a plan mm-hmm. for your money. Mm-hmm. So if you already have that foundation in place yes. with your budget, when you get extra money in, You've already got some places that it can go. Oh, I can put a little bit um, in my savings. I can put a little bit towards, you know, that car that I need. Um, Oh, I needed my kids need new clothes. School is coming up. Like set your priorities in place. And we really have to go deep with a want Mm. versus a need. Talk about it. (laughs) Okay. A need is something like very vital to your family, like food. 
um, your groceries, your basic yeah. necessities. Yeah. Once, wow. can you live without that? Like, do you have some yeah. shoes already in your closet? <laughs> like, I can't stand with people like, I had to have these. <laughs> you wanted those. That was a one, okay? But I'm um, really breaking that down, yeah. and you will see a difference in that. And I will That's say true. that was a lesson I learned from my family. You know how I said everybody's a teacher. Yeah. My mom and my dad always had McDonald's money, okay? <laughs> when I was like when I was a kid, we always went out to eat. Right. We always went shopping. We always did wow. fun things. Wow. But as an adult having those conversations with my parents, I didn't realize like we were in debt. We were using credit <laughs> cards. We were just, you know, doing all the things. And it's like, okay, well that's a lesson yes. that I can take into place Absolutely. and I'm really big on a want versus a need and mm. i see a difference when wow. i track my expenses yes. like yes you know i may have that's some expenses true. but it's on groceries yeah. it's on bills that's it's true. on things that, that we need true. in our family mm. so I but i mean said that. Yeah. but i mean think about it like patty think about the number mm -hmm. of times that you know you've saved for something that you wanted to buy to yeah. go in the house yes. some of our vacations that we go on tari mm -hmm. you know we save over so the good. year yes. so yes. much per month to go towards it yes. so that we can take that vacation mm -hmm. yes. so if we can actually plan and save for things that we want to get mm -hmm. how come we can't take that same energy and take that same concept and plan to save yes. right like yes. you're planning to buy yes. that outfit yes. or that yes. jacket or you're planning oh, yes. to go to that concert yeah yes. how come mm. how come we can't use that same motivation and say you know what i mm. want to get just as excited about yes. planning a savings a putting yes. a savings plan mm -hmm. in place as i am i'm excited about i'm going to that yeah. concert i'm getting yes. to go to i have one reason i feel like we get discouraged by the mm. timeline I know for me in 2019, I would see the money savings challenges like $1,000 in one year. Yeah. And I'm like, that's too long. <laughs> to wait for. We know 1,000 is the new 100 today. Yeah. Like, that's way too long. But at the end of 2019, I did not have $1,000 in my savings account wow. as I'm complaining about it taking yes. too long. Yes. So I think we need to get wow. the rush and the mm. timeline out of our head. Yes. I like how you said over a year. Yes. You already know this yes. is something I want to do next yes, year. So I'm going to put yes, this X amount, whatever, towards it. And yes, you feel so good yeah. when you're not using credit That's and going true. into debt to do something that you want to do like yes. It's just like you can really enjoy yourself. You know, yes. It's like every year around Christmas time, you know, Patty has this this little nest egg, oh, and yes. and 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 she gets to be around smiling and Christmas. Like, oh, smiling. <laughs> and she said, "Oh, uh, uh, oh, honey, this started last year. I, yes. when did start last year? I did that this Christmas, and it was so good. Yes, really, I was happy. Yes. Was it easier for you when you didn't have to do it yourself? You just like had it coming out and yes. it was set aside. Yep, I started in September, yes, and by the time December came, and I wasn't able to cover everything, but I got a lot of stuff yes, lot. with my little nest egg, yes, <laughs> and I'm gonna do it again you, this year. It, it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Like we know what to do. Sometimes we just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just like don't working do out it. and yes, exercise. Exactly. The same exactly. thing with your financial literacy. Exactly. You know, a lot of people exactly. live. They live the you know the seventy thirty plan that I've heard them say when they said you know see if you can start here. For example, you know mm -hmm. you take the first ten percent of your income and you say okay well you know this is a, we're people of faith yeah and we we honor god because we know that god takes care of us opens doors and makes ways for us yeah. and causes yeah. more Absolutely. to come into our life because it's not like god's just giving us more money more money god is constantly providing opportunities yes. for us wow. whereby more streams of revenue actually can yes. take place and then he favors you with people actually support that mm -hmm. so the first 10 percent goes to god yep. and yeah. what if you took the second 10 percent and you said you know what that's going to go to savings mm -hmm. paying yourself i mean you know that's, i've been that's doing that for the up. past five years literally yes. that formula and I like working with percentages because whether the number goes up or down, yes. you've got that basic foundation in yes. place with your percentages. Absolutely. Right. So if 10 percent goes to God and 10 mm percent -hmm. goes to savings. And what if we did this? What if the other 10 percent went towards debt? Imagine yes. what you're doing every pay period. If yes. you can discipline wow. yourself, That's you know, actually to do that and say, yes. you know, think about what you're doing. I am actually honoring God. Mm -hmm. I am actually loving myself. Yes. And then I am actually telling my creditors, yeah. have a nice day. Right. Yes, absolutely. So, and, and, and imagine that as a plan. Look at what's happening 
and all three spheres of influence actually mm -hmm. in in your mm -hmm. life. And let's say let's say you know uh, Tari ends up selling five hundred dollars of more of cookies than okay. she expected, mm -hmm. so she's got an extra five hundred dollars yes. coming in. Yes. And not yeah. trying to tell her what to do because she <laughs> yeah. already knows what right, to do, you know. Right, right, but instead of like right. taking that five hundred dollars and say, you know what, I'm gonna just go out and I'm gonna get a special jacket with yeah. it. What if she yeah. said, okay, you know what? With that extra five hundred that came in, the first yeah. thing I'm gonna do is stay with the same principle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my tithe out. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually be nice to myself, mm -hmm. and then I'm actually yeah. going to take care of my debt. Mm -hmm. Now look at what look at what she's got. She's got four. She's got some four hundred dollars plus. True. You know what that's I'm saying? True, right. To but still see, actually work with. Yeah, and that's why, Bishop, that budget is so critical because if you don't know what you owe out, mm -hmm. you know, you know you owe these things, but sometimes you got to sit and write, I owe this much, this yes. much, this much, and then you start paying, like make extra payments on the smallest one. Mm -hmm. Get that out of the way. Then go to the next. Get that one out of the way, and you will be surprised how fast your debt goes down. Mm -hmm. You got to throw every extra to the debt and, and stop getting yourself back in it. She that's the, the that's the key right that's there. That's one of the so, things that I did. Like so I like wrote that, them that, down and paid extra on the smallest one till they were gone. All right, so if you looked at like that $500 I talked about, you know, she takes the 150 a third, I mean, yes. 10, 10, 10, 30%. Mm -hmm. yes. Then she's got 350 left. What do you, then you mm. free like, okay, what am I gonna do with this 350? Cause yeah. I don't took care of my main obligations. Yes. And that's huge. And what if we could discipline ourselves yes. to repeat that pattern? Discipline. Yes, it takes, you know, when you get tired of being in a situation, <laughs> I won't say broke, because sometimes we're not always broke. We just get tired of, yeah. you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul, mm -hmm. as they say, or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get tired of that, you're going to make a quest to make something happen different. That's what sure happened will. with me. Same for I me. I said, I'm tired yeah. of this yeah i was in a position where i kept having to borrow money yeah, from family members yeah. like i would pay my bills but it was like mm. i don't have any money for life after this <laughs> it's like wow. and i know people are like as long as i can pay my bills i'm good but yeah. we all want to do extra yes. than just pay our yeah, bills there's way. life outside of bills so <laughs> yes. yeah that was my yes, motivation absolutely. well what if one of the other ways that uh -huh. people could get out of a, a financial jam is if you diversified your income and i'm thinking about like tari said earlier yeah. she said you know her cookie business yes. is mm -hmm. her hustle yes. i mean i can't help but to wonder yeah. it's like everybody what is it that you do very good yes <laughs> what is it that you're actually good at yes, right. you know what i'm saying right. and then how mm. have you even thought about taking the very thing that you are very good at and looking at how that could become a hustle for right. you, yes, where can. you could consult, you could provide that service for somebody, and people really, you know, like to, you know, yeah. to 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 pay you for it. Yes. And before you know it, you don't yes. you don't started you like a small business. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay, like for example, like you know, your your cookies. We talked about that earlier, but like your podcast. Yeah. What what is the motivation when you're doing yeah. when you're doing that podcast? You're doing it because you believe there are people on the other end that can benefit from the information that you are sharing. Yes. And I bet if you look at the information that you're sharing, there are probably people that are getting paid a lot of money yes, to hear people <laughs> share what 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 you're sharing. And so you look for ways that that can become marketable for you mm -hmm. and right. possibly be an income stream. Like, let's. If, what if somebody invited you to come and say, hey, would you be a presenter and share yes. concerning parenting? And then they said, well, um, uh, is there a fee? And you can say, well, oh, no, that, that's 90, 90 feet. All I, you know, the Lord leads just will be a blessing. But then you say, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe this is what the Lord has been preparing me for. Yes. And, 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 like, and like speaking of fear, you'd be like, yeah. you know, what? Well, well, what do you normally yeah. give? Or yeah. what, what's your budget? Right. Yes. And before you know it, yes. that's a stream for you. And really, that is the overall goal for me. Um, but I'm taking the approach with the podcast as I did with the cookies. Mm -hmm. So when I first started, I would serve to the schools that I worked at every Friday for free. Oh, I would wake wow. up and bake wow. um, a dozen wow. of four flavors and just serve and share them for free. Yeah. And then I felt like God saw me steward in that season. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, yeah. now you can sell right. for X, Y, Z. And it's like, okay. Right. And it's just grown and grown yeah. each year from me yeah. stewarding that basic season. Yeah. So I feel like with the podcast and now I'm stewarding, just sharing information for free. Yes. I'm showing up Absolutely. each week. 
I'm being consistent with the information. And I, you know, you guys asking me to speak here, like, no, it's not a fee, but I feel like, okay, like I'm being seen, you know, like the fruit is the seeds have been planted and the fruit is coming. So I'm very grateful again for the opportunity and whatever else is on the other side of me being obedient in this season. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, (laughs) but that's, that's how it is. It's just like, you know, uh, I started off, you know, just, you know, loving to communicate and, mm-hmm. and passing and talking. And then yeah. so there were people that would say, hey, I would like you to come and talk in this yeah. setting. I say, sure, I would like the, uh, the talking to it. And the more I got to doing it, the more they said, hey, we'd like to be a blessing to you yeah. for actually doing it. Absolutely. And then out of that, I never intended for it to happen. But then consulting opportunities started mm-hmm. coming out of it. Training opportunities yes. start actually coming out of it. And so before I know it, I looked up and I said, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Pray. But, but you know, it just, I began to realize it mm-hmm. as I yes. began to move more into, if you'd allow, you know, like, I understand even the term hustle and that's good. I think, Tori, you know, that's your hustle, but I also believe that's your grace. Yeah. I believe that's For a sure. grace that's yes, on absolutely. your life. But, but you understand that, you know, I, I, I just wish more people really would be like that mm-hmm. and 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 stop thinking that you can't work. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. I mean, what, what what is it that you do? Listen, That's put true. in the chat. What is it? Think about it for just okay. a moment. What What is a skill that you believe you are very good at? Mm-hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody might be looking and listening tonight and, and need to benefit from that skill that you actually have. Mm-hmm. Just put that in the chat. Yes, when I when I ask right. you, Pastor Patty, what do you think one of your skills are that you're very, very good, other than making people smile, you know? <laughs> She's a comedian. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, but I don't know if I would want to do it and make my... I love to repair things. <laughs> I can, Sorry. No, I no, can repair no. a house. Yeah. I think she got there. Her, if her I was dad a would fix everything. <laughs> if I was a carpenter and and could just go and fix somebody's house or something mm-hmm. like that, but I I don't know. That's not nothing. I they have a side hustle do. online. I don't know what it's called, but like people reach out to you to like put their uh, TV stands together yes. or repair little things. So that might be something. Sure, listen, <laughs> I, I, mean, I love this, doing that. I love doing during that. During the pandemic, yeah. she literally just remodeled. Yeah. The, the house and she just did it little by little uh to the point to where i would watch her take on some projects and i would be begging can we just let somebody come and do this can we please let somebody Saving do this money. Yeah. And, and, money. and honestly Tori, there are times when i i looked at it and i said she's way in over her head <laughs> and i'd be like and t- let me tell you something by the time this chick got through it's like it looked better than some of the professional people oh, I, I believe it i probably she, could pay Late I don't know. <laughs> she, I mean, it is literally amazing oh, what she's I'm done. But this is what I know. Like, you know, like she said, she wouldn't want to do it. But like, she can, she can tell you, she can look at stuff and actually say, this is here, this the is there. And yeah, yeah she's, got, she's got an eye, mm-hmm. got an eye for it. And I how like did you learn? Tra- like- I like to see transformation. I think that's what it is. Because I was in dental hygiene and to be able to see a mouth transform. Mm-hmm. And I think that's just been all my life. I love to go in and see an old house. I mean, if I could flip a house, I mean, there was a, uh, those are kind of things I just love to do. Yeah. But I don't know if I, you know, all right. if I was 20 years. Okay. Well, well all right. With, <laughs> how important is it? Like, how important is it that a person invests in itself? Yes. Personal development. Yes. Continue yes. to get better at yes. whatever that craft or that skill set that's, is. How important is yes. that? Yes, that's very important. Um, I remember some years back, Brother Andre, the guy that you have um, yeah. some Tuesdays with you, you had a business summit here. Yeah. And I remember him saying, like, however you are, like your personal growth, your personal mindset and things mm-hmm. like that is going to spill over into your business. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. one thing that I really remember from mm-hmm. that meeting. Wow. And it caused me to do some self-development because if you deal with like Mm. jealousy and comparison and things like that, now you're discouraged in your business because you keep looking over at other people, comparing yourself to them. Um, Or if you deal with like poor self-talk and the one time something doesn't go right and now you see, I knew I should have did this. I knew I was going to mess up and now you, you know, throw the whole business away. So I yep. feel like investing in yourself with personal growth mm. is very mm. good. But also, 
sometimes you may have to invest in a coach or someone with more knowledge to help help and guide you along the way. Um, I know tax season is a big time that people (laughs) waste their money. (laughs) They get it back. Um, But during the pandemic in 2020, I chose to invest in a writing coach in that season. And she helped me with my book, Mom Keys to Mental Peace, which is now the spillover with um, the podcast. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm so glad that I used that money wisely in that season because look, you know, four years later, what has come out of me making that decision to invest in myself and not waste that money. (laughs) Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Well, it's like you're you're valuable. uh, That's good. Tari, and you're entitled to increase your value yeah. Yeah. because if you don't believe in yourself and what you do, you can't expect other people to actually do That's that. True. True. So That's I true. think that you can hone your craft and get better actually at mm-hmm. what yeah, you do absolutely. by spending you know, more time. So I think that an investment, you know, it, it, and I did find this out. Sometimes you have to spend a little money. Yes, you do. Uh, to make money. Yep. And then I've also found out that there are times that the only thing standing between a little money and a lot of money is a little money. Uh-huh. Little money, a lot of money. Well, I, I need a no. All you need is a little more yes. money with the little that you got, yeah. and you'd be surprised at what that actually that's really so could, could, could do for you. Uh-huh. But that's where that's where I believe a lot of people, you know. Be courageous enough to yeah, take that step true. towards investing really in in in, in yourself, mm-hmm. and you'll be surprised at the difference uh, that you actually make. And then, mm-hmm. as we start moving towards being able to pray for people tonight, uh, we mentioned it kind of earlier, but I mean, I see people, and I say, God, you you got a great skill set, and it's like, well, I, I'm too busy to work on that, mm-hmm. and I don't I don't have time for that. But yet you're wanting to change your life and trying to figure out how you can get your debt. Don't ever listen. Don't ever be too good to work. Mm -hmm. You you know, if you're really that good at what you do, put what you do to work and and let it pay you. You'll be amazed at what's actually uh, really going to happen with it. You know, Mm -hmm. so um, Mm -hmm. really with it. And I, I, I think about just the simple, the simple or simplistic things that we talked about in the sense of what a person. Mm-hmm. Uh, can really do from from the budgeting yeah, side of it, <laughs> trying to be conscious of the inflation. And I know we yeah. got a lot of y'all out there. Y'all way on the other side of our yes. baby step conversation. Y'all ready for us to move into the vested side? Yeah. And I'm bringing folk on that can that can yes. do that. Okay, all right, and, yes, and move us true. deep into that. But at the same time, yes. I want you to understand mm. the genesis steps that you can actually take. How many of us mm. tonight got something that we can do? relative to what we talked about tonight that would move us in that direction and 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 with it y'all how important is patience with all of this (laughs) patience with yourself (laughs) especially because what if because you know i see so many people that start off and it's like something comes up and they get discouraged it's like forget it i just i just quit i'm not gonna do it how important is 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 patience with it well it takes time bitch i was just thinking when you said that like uh sometimes you see a church uh, that uh, maybe a new church and uh, just all of a sudden it just starts growing so fast and yeah. then it's a mega church. But I'm sure at that beginning stage, they didn't think that, you know, it right. took time to even get to that point. Yeah. It's going to take time with, with everything that you do. It, you know, and, and even if your business takes off, you know, and does great. It still took time for it to get to that. Takes point. time to get better at yes. what yes. you want to do and Absolutely. what you want to be. Yes, and it, it makes pace, me think, be patience with it. Yes. Right. So. It makes me think about God's principle about seed, time, yes. and harvest. Absolutely. Like you can't plant the seed and feel like this <laughs> huge so tree is about to come, or keep <laughs> digging the dirt up, looking at the seed. And I will say that's something I felt like I was doing with the podcast. Yeah. Like, well, how many people listen? How many people did this? How many people download? <laughs> And God is like, just plant the seed, girl. Yeah. Just plant Do the it. seed and yes. give it time, yes. and then the harvest will come. So, Absolutely. in God's yes. word, it stands true. Yeah. So just trust the process, yes. literally. And you know, a lot of a, a lot of people now, Tari, mm-hmm. when it comes down to their, you know, their conversation labs and sharing their content. Mm-hmm. They don't even want to put like opportunities out there. They don't even want to know how many people like it. They say, okay, you know what? I'm not even going to turn the like part of it on. I'm just going to share the content Mm -hmm. and I'm going to do the deliverables. 
And so the the thing that you do with that is you avoid mm. discouragement yes. from yourself. Yes. One of the things that I see that mm. that, that I, people wrestle with more than anything else that I see is is discouragement. Yeah. They get they get mm. discouraged, mm -hmm. and when the situation, the circumstance is not working out exactly like it should, or you you bump your head, you make a mistake, you you slide back, or you yeah. know you go in a direction you're not supposed to go. It it takes time to get really good yeah, at mm -hmm. what you do. Do either one of you all talk to yourself? I do <laughs> all the time. I do. Like I okay. drive and talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you probably do, think I'm on the phone. But... Do, do you talk to yourself and answer yourself back to? Uh, yes, <laughs> I do anyway. I do. I, I I do like you asked me this morning. You said. <laughs> Like Patty actually this morning, she said, "What are you, what are you talking about?" And I told her, "What are you talking about?" And, and she said, well, "What are you saying?" I said, "I'm going over my day in my head, and I'm yes. talking myself through where I got to be." Absolutely. And then I was going ahead, Tari, and I was practicing what I needed to say in certain settings. You know what I'm saying? And so, but it's very good to do that. And so, I hope that people will go down from here tonight and talk to themselves about what they've heard tonight and take yes. take that next step. Absolutely. I guess yes, one of the last things that I, you know, really want to say, if I could piggyback off Tara and then y'all can have closing comments too. Mm -hmm. She talked about the spirit of comparison. Mm -hmm. And comparing yourself to somebody else can be discouraging yes, too. Absolutely. What about the comparison where you're not, I'm not necessarily trying to compare myself to you, but I'm trying to keep up with Ooh, you. <laughs> In other words, I want, you know, I I want to uh, <clears throat> just oh have goodness. the appearance mm -hmm. wow. that I'm in a certain place yeah, as opposed <laughs> to doing the things to really be in that yeah. place. Yeah. Talk about that for a moment. I can touch on that. <laughs> so <clears throat> I feel like you have to ask yourself why. Kind of like you just shared, talking to yourself, really reflecting. When you make certain purchases, why am I making this purchase? When you make any type of decision. Why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. And if the motivation is to be better than somebody yeah. or to stun on somebody or to keep up with somebody, then your heart posture is already wow. in the wrong wow. place. Wow. 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 So wow. if that wow. person, you know, moves up or does something better, then now what are you going to do? You're still trying to race and yes. keep up with them. We have to really check the motives mm. behind a lot of the things that we do because that will yeah. show what the Bible say, our heart, um, as a man thinks, you as know. As a man thinks, so is he. Yes, it's so yeah. it's already if it's already in your heart and you're thinking and plotting on how to be better than somebody, yes. then your foundation is already off and you're not going to be able to sustain it. And that's a, a one reason too that a lot of people overspend yes. with their money Woo! and finances. Say, yes. say that one more. Look into that camera right there. That right there. Okay. Come that's close. another <laughs> reason why a lot of people overspend Woo! to have this appearance because you care so much about what other people think about you. I know you yes. gave the example about the car. Yes. If you have this nice car for everybody to ooh and ah about, yes. but you are drowning oh, trying to keep point. up yeah. with those yeah. payments, is it really yeah. worth it? Yeah. Is it really worth it? Right. Yeah. And I mean, if I, let's say, if I was going to try to keep up with you, mm -hmm. what if I tried to keep up with you getting out of debt? Right. Why, why not do it? Since I got to keep, motivation. Yeah, since right. I gotta keep up with, with somebody, why don't I? Say, okay, you know what? We can get out the fast. Yes. yes. That's good. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. right. Well, I guess, you know, that, that goes right into, you know, you know, how important is it also, Patty, that you have people with you that can help hold you accountable and, you know, help you see you through to, you know, where you want to arrive at. Well, I mean, it's good to have people to hold you accountable. I mean, and sometimes we think they're just there to make sure we stay in line, but that's not really what that's for. Like, you know, if you're helping someone financially and, you know, let's say you just check on girl, did you spend any money this that's month? Good. You know, uh, did you spend extra money? Did you have any extra money come in? You know, did you pay off that extra bill? Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing. Like, you know what? Yes, I did. You know, I found $200 in my, <laughs> in the bottom of my pocketbook. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I paid off an extra bill with it. So that's the kind of accountability, not what did you do with your money? Right. You know, and so that's, you know, that's not what accountability is about. It's just someone there to help you and keep you motivated to stay on the track that you're mm -hmm. on. If you're moving in the right direction, you need people that are cheering yeah. you on and helping yeah. you go in that right direction. I'm in a financial group. Um, a few ladies on Instagram that I have found. That's why I feel like social wow. media can be yeah. a positive yeah. place yeah. if you use it. Positive. 
for the right thing but there's two ladies that i follow on instagram and they have a financial community she gives us financial challenges each month that really help us like reflect on our finances i could go to her with questions she gives us accountability like sometimes you just need that support and team to help you because you don't you just may not know and that's okay that you don't know yes use the resources that you have and you and you really do you really believe and can truly see that having that support group in your life yes. has helped you move towards what you set out to do. Yes, oh yes, yes. Every year I see something yes. better. Yes. From 2019, when yes. I said I didn't have that thousand dollars saved, yes. every year I'm seeing an increase. Maybe it Ooh. may even be like how I keep track yes. of my finances. <laughs> I have my spreadsheets. Yes. I have my categories. Oh my That's something I didn't have before. Yes. You know, so. Yes, That's we want to see thing. more numbers. We want to see the number go up. Yes. But also, okay, am I tracking my finances mm-hmm. better? Am I not touching my savings yes. every time? That yes. was a problem I had, yes. too. I would save, but now I'm dipping in it to go out to eat yes. or to go yes. shopping or something. Yes. Was I able to have discipline and leave wow. the money there? Yes. So look yes. for those changes mm-hmm. over time in mm-hmm. other ways than just, oh, the number's going up. Absolutely. I did. I was listening to a, a financial podcast. Like Every day I left from work, it, I had the station set That's on good. it. I would get in the car and I would sit there and just listen. And it was just people's stories. Mm-hmm. And the stories, you know, mimic mine. Some of them, I was just amazed at the answers that they gave. And and they would always tell them, like, look, I've been there. You know, even though they're teaching you, they're telling you that they've been there. That's why they're able to teach yeah. you. Because right. they, they came through it. They, yeah. you know, persevered. And that's, you know, that's me. It just, it helps it's almost like my accountability. Yeah. I'm listening to that, and it's making me think, okay, when I get home, let me make sure I, I'm checking this out. Applying and, the information yes. that you just heard, yes. that you just shared. And I believe that I believe that we can upgrade. Mm, helps, yeah. And I believe that we also can live nice without having to be overly strapped in, in debt to actually oh, do yeah, it. No. And if we and follow then, even what Tari said, uh-huh. you know, earlier about, you know, that, that sacrifice to yeah, delay that yeah. immediate gratification yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. the day is going to come mm-hmm. when you don't have to watch that account that right. much no. because you have mm-hmm. so freed yourself yes, that yes. you're free to do some of the things now that Absolutely. you were not able to do really in the past yeah, so hey guys uh everybody this yeah. has been phenomenal uh, so good. tonight, yes. and uh oh. thank you all so much for being a part of it mm. uh tari thank you again for being yes, can you for- tell the folk <laughs> about how they can actually you know, like yeah. taste some of those melt in your mouth cookies <laughs> and how they can hear, podcast, hear, yes. hear your po- and listen when y'all go to her podcast you tell her i heard about you yes. moving forward bishop and- I don't yes. add it, Pastor Patty. Bishop and Pastor Patty. Okay. So tell, tell so, right. so the Tory will know. Yes. yes. So if you are local in um, the Sanford, North Carolina area, I bake every Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we bake. That's my slogan. Oh. Oh. Um, on Wednesdays, we bake. On Wednesdays, we bake. So just be sure to um, inbox me on social media um, at Tari Kaya Allen Butler. Um, and I'll, you know, get you set up with your order. Uh-huh. And Mom Keys to Mental Peace podcast is on all platforms that you listen to podcasts. Um, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast, you can find me there. Wow, that's great. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. We are, we are happy you. for you. Thank you so much for uh, being with us, Patty. Again, you know, having you is, is, is a jewel. And, hey, having all of you all is just I incredible as well. So tell other people about it. Uh, we're going to uh, be going to the next phase of Money Matters as we are be bringing professional uh, folk on the program that actually can tell you what to do with that $10, what to do with that 50, Uh what to do with that hundred, a, even how to go find that thousand that you don't even think that you got and tell you the best way to use it. Uh, We're bringing folk on and going to tell you how to cut that mortgage to take five and 10 years off of that mortgage. We're going to be bringing, we're going to be bringing uh, people on to show you how to get that car paid off uh, yes. faster, how to get those home furnishings yes. and how to barter and stuff uh, like that. Uh. And then folk that will make sure that while you're asleep, even if you don't start with but a small amount, they're going to show you how your money will make money for you while you are resting in the Lord. That's why I'm, Until he wakes up the next day. Yes. <laughs> Until you wake up the next day. <laughs>
<laughs> so we love y'all very much. Hey, this is our time of giving. So there are multiple ways that you can give. You'll see that uh, on uh, the screen. And uh, we want to thank you for your willingness, spirit of generosity and liberty, liber, uh, uh, generosity. generosity and liberality. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I, I'm getting those two in there, okay, in Jesus' name. But God Amen. loves the uh, the cheerful and liberal giver. So mm-hmm. use those means on the screen to release your tithe and your offering tonight. Yeah. Father, thank you for the gift and the giver. Multiply back in our life where we need it the most. We receive it by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, now our time is up. We thank you for yours. Encourage you to join us tomorrow on the prayer line at 7 o'clock. And I'd like for you all, you know, uh, to be prepared and when we come back to tell us about some some of the things you would like us to talk to you about. Because, Pat, I think this is needful and necessary, and I feel yeah. I feel real good and, actually about it. And if they have started their budget, it would be good to know if people have started looking at their finances, you know, because you start there, you you know, it's going to be good okay. for you. Yeah. So, so Tar, when we have our big wrap up, uh, you know, we'll probably bring, you know, several of our guests back at one time. Okay. You think you'd be willing to come back? I sure would. Well, there's, all, there's only one catch. Okay. On that night, you got to bring us some cookies. <laughs> yeah, I sure will. I sure will. <laughs> okay. Thank y'all so very much. I know y'all are very busy. You got a lot going on, a lot of roles, a lot of uh, responsibilities. Yeah. And I know you're moving. I know you're shaking. But whatever you do with all of that stuff going on, Keep moving, moving forward. forward. God bless you. God bless you.